Grenen is the northernmost point in Denmark, which indeed also is the top of the whole European continent, and this is truly a spectacular sight. It is visited by more than one million tourists every year. But there is something that the tourist doesn't know. Down in the underground, an ancient forest is decomposing, and that creates gas methane gas. The gas makes its way to the surface, and in that process a very special phenomena occurs. However, in order to investigate this phenomena, we need to go underwater. This is a map of Denmark, and to find the bubbling reefs, we need to travel up north. Just off the coast, there is a small cluster of islets. Hirtshalmen is a small group of islets, and this is where we find the bubbling reefs. To the southeast, a reef with caves are situated. And to the northwest, we find the reef with up to 4 meter high pillars. It is only the main islet Hirtholmen where we are allowed to go ashore. Nowadays, there is only a few people living here all year. And the houses are mainly used as a summer residence for tourists. The real inhabitants of Hirtshalmen is now the seabirds. The old lighthouse is fully automated, but still it gives us a great chance to overview the islets. From up here, it is very obvious that Hirtsholmen now belongs to the seabirds. This is survival of the fittest, and on this point nature is cruel and without any mercy. On the harbour's stone piers, the black guillemont is nesting between the rocks. This very beautiful little seabird is a fantastic diver, and the condition here is perfect. The reefs around Hirtshalmen provides the colony with plenty of fish, and the stone pier gives shelter from the larger predators. Still, the birds are extremely cautious cause danger lurks in the sky. In 1938, all of the islets were preserved as a scientific reserve mainly because of the enormous number of birds nesting on the islets. In 1981, the reserve were increased to indemnify the surrounding sea area, consisting of approximately 2,400 hectares. Now it's time for us to do the same as the seabirds, to go diving. And from the top of the lighthouse, we get a fantastic view 
of the sea that holds the bubbling reefs. The seawater here is quite murky and there is a very special atmosphere. But then, all of a sudden, massive pillars are raising up from the bottom. Every single inch is covered with the beautiful Metridium senile, mostly known as the Plumos anemone. One starts quickly to wonder, how is the pillars built? Well, the seeping methane gas holds the secret. Down in the underground, an old forest is decomposing, and that creates the methane gas. And as the gas makes its way to the surface, a chemical reaction occurs, which glues the sand together and forms the carbonate cemented sandstone structures. Then through time, changes in sea currents has exposed the rocks by subsequent erosion of the surrounding unconsolidated sediment. And the result is the fantastic structures we are now able to see at the bubbling reefs. The sandstone structures provide shelter, and the currents here are usually strong, and that brings food, a perfect combination for marine life to thrive. Only with caution can one approach the giant lion's mane. The stinging cell in its tentacles burns severely. The Cancer Pagorus, also known as the eatable crab, has few competitors, and here it grows to very large sizes. common sea star is a predator on the loose, from the most tiny ones to the very large ones. It is walking around on the sea bottom on hundreds of small legs. When they get the scent of food, they can move surprisingly fast. This one seems to be on the track for something. A dead crab and the feast is done. Other sea stars are already here.